Hi, and welcome to a SonicWall Firewall video tutorial. My name is Micah Vorst. Today, we'll upgrade our firewall's firmware to take advantage of new features. Now, you don't need to wait until the new features are released to upgrade your firmware. New firmware releases include agile improvements to security, stability, and UI enhancements. Today, I'm using an NSA 4650 that is on firmware version 6.5.1.1. I'll upgrade the unit to 6.5.1.2. Before we begin, it's always a good idea to back up the settings file. To do so, log into the firewall and navigate to Manage, Firmware and Backups, Import Export Configuration, and click Export Configuration. Once the file is saved, we'll stay on this page to upload and boot into the new firmware. To download new firmware, head over to mysonicwall.com and log in using your credentials. You'll want to use the account that is associated with the firewall so that you'll have access to the right firmware. Once logged in, navigate to Product Management and My Products. Select the firewall that you intend to upgrade. Once selected, click Firmware. Here on this page, we see current firmware. Click on Browse All Firmware to get a list of the latest available software. Hover over the firmware that you want to download and click the Download button. Save it in a location that we can quickly access in just a few moments. Once the download is complete, head back to the firewall and click on Upload Firmware. Click the Browse button and locate the recently downloaded firmware. The upload process only takes a few moments. Once uploaded, we can see the new firmware as a new entry on the Firmware and Backups page. Booting to a new firmware requires a reboot of the firewall, so once we've notified our end users of temporary downtime, we can proceed. In most cases, it only takes a couple of minutes for the firmware to be applied, followed by a reboot. When ready, we can click the Boot icon and then Boot with Current Configuration. I want to point out that this is the typical upgrade scenario, but in some cases you'll want to boot with factory default configurations. This comes in handy if you need to redeploy a firewall in a new environment or just want to start with a clean slate. After reviewing and approving the prompts, we'll let the firewall apply the new firmware and wait for the reboot to occur. Once the firmware is installed, we can log back into the firewall to confirm the unit is on the latest firmware. Now would be a good time to take another backup of the settings file on the new firmware. If you boot it to factory default settings, remember to use the default IP of 192.168.168.168 to access the firewall with username admin and password being password. Thanks for watching. To learn more about configuring SonicWall products, visit www.sonicwall.com/support.